It is now scientifically proven that incredible things happen during thunderstorms, huge explosions, X-rays, radiation like those of the H-bomb and there is even antimatter, created by lightning. Thunderstorms produce beams of antimatter, the specular substance, with opposite charges, of matter. Antimatter is an extraordinary substance, capable of turning 100% into energy and being used as a propellant for the spaceships of the future, as was already imagined in the TV series Star Trek. This was demonstrated by an artificial satellite, which on December 14, 2009 was hit by a beam of antimatter generated by a storm 5,000 kilometers away. Scientists know that many storms, especially in tropical regions, can produce flashes of energetic radiation such as those generated by atomic bombs, gamma rays. These radiations are the most penetrating ever, far more than the X-rays used for radiographs. And they are emitted from the most extreme celestial bodies, like black holes. In fact, the terrestrial gamma ray bursts generated by thunderstorms were discovered by chance, in the 90s by the artificial satellites that searched the celestial sky in search of black holes devouring matter and other equally violent cosmic phenomena. At the beginning nobody expected that such extreme phenomena would occur in our atmosphere, and since then many scientists and various satellites, including the Italian Agile, have dedicated themselves to research. It seems that this fascinating physical phenomenon, which in many ways still remains mysterious, begins with a flow of electrons accelerated upwards from the electric fields of the storm, until reaching speeds close to that of light in the void. These hyperbolic electrons, colliding with atoms in the atmosphere, release energy and produce gamma rays. Terrestrial gamma ray bursts are produced by storms of all shapes and sizes, explains Joseph Dwyer, professor of physics in the United States, but we still do not know why some thunderstorms produce gamma ray bursts and others do not. While lightning is generated, a gamma ray burst is released at an altitude, which in turn generates a cloud of matter, electrons, and one of antimatter, positrons. Antimatter, at least in part, is channeled along the Earth's magnetic field, heading north or south, north pole or south pole. The antimatter cloud continues its path along the Earth's magnetic field, until it reaches a point in the atmosphere mirror to that in which the storm occurred and then rebounds to go back. Then the charged particles, electrons and positrons, move along the lines of the Earth's magnetic field following a spiral trajectory. As the particles approach the Earth, the magnetic field intensifies, with the result that the particles spiral faster but advance more slowly. The consequent birth of spirals or vortexes can generate vortexes, i.e. energetic boosters that in turn create torsion fields connected to the cosmic web. The cosmic web is a sort of matrix or cobweb that is connected to all galaxies, star systems, and planets. This quantum cosmic connection system is the portal activator that conveys the vortex energy through the cosmic web. I repeat the above, the electrons move along the magnetic field following spiral paths properly called helical. We can think of the paths as being composed of two parts, a parallel movement along a magnetic field line and a circular one around the same line. These spiral or helical movements of the antimatter cloud in the magnetic field can create dimensional portals connected to the X-points. Magnetic Portals The X-points or X-points have recently been discovered by NASA. These points are typically found tens of thousands of kilometers from Earth above the medium Earth orbit, MEO, in geostationary orbit, GSO, and predominantly in high Earth orbit. 22,000 miles above the blue dot. This is the point where the Earth's magnetic field meets the magnetic field of the Sun and so in this place we form bizarre wormholes or stargate. NASA wants to exploit these portals or X-points to travel in the cosmos, and it does so by studying these magnetic gates more closely that should work like real stargate or wormholes, which connect places far from our solar system. We call them X-point, or electron-spreading regions, explains plasma physicist Jack Scudder of the University of Iowa. These are places where the Earth's magnetic field connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, creating an uninterrupted path that leads from our planet to the atmosphere of the Sun 93 million miles away. Some are small and last for a brief moment, 
while others are huge and can last for long periods of time. Why is NASA just now testing a new technology for space travel through these portals? And, more importantly, because there is no confirmation in the media, that is, why do not TV and radio talk about it? These magnetic portals are also invisible to the naked eye, which do not last long and appear at random points. Are these portals connected to lightning? I firmly believe that there is a connection between the antimatter particles generated by lightning and X points. The lightning activates the antimatter charge connected to the X points connected to the sun and here we create the stargate or dimensional portals. I am convinced, and there is evidence, that extraterrestrial spacecraft exploit the sun, X points, and lightning to get to Earth and it is no coincidence that the study of X dot point by NASA has become top secret. According to Nassim Haramein, historian and multidisciplinary scientific researcher, philosopher and leader of the Resonance Project, he is known for his research and the construction of a unified theory of the structure of the universe called precisely Theory of the Great Unification of Field. Nassim asserts that the sun creates small holes called sunspots, these spots are not spots as everyone may think, but they reflect the true appearance of a black hole in the sun which lasts for weeks or months and then closes. This black hole is a window time space, a sort of door or stargate through which one can travel through worlds and dimensions unknown to man. According to the Swiss researcher, a singularity takes place almost once a week, that is a black hole, wormhole, on the Sunday. Extraterrestrial or multidimensional civilizations that want advanced access to our solar system, with black holes as big as the Earth can do it through the stargate of our sun, or, if these extraterrestrials want to reach the Earth, they can do it through the opening of dimensional portals created by X-points and lightning.